I think the Royal Marine Commandos isn't just a job, it's a, it's a way of life as well. The opportunities you get are awesome. Not only do you get a very fulfilling job, you get to go loads of different places and see many different things. You get to travel all over the world, see things that, you know, would cost you thousands, hundreds of thousands to do, you know. You get to get lots of civilian qualifications like I've got, which is going to be very helpful for me when I leave. And obviously the Marines pay that as well, so it's good, and they look after you. Hi, my name's Ian Anderson from EBO, uh, and today I'm going to be taking the Royal Marines Commandos for a coast steering challenge down here in Cornwall. Every week, part of their basic training, they come to do some coast steering adventures with us. Climbing, clambering, traversing along the cliffs, along the rocks, swimming through caves, swimming with seals and so on, and then jumping from height anywhere that's safe enough to do so. The guy's usually really up for it, it's going to be, it's going to be a fun day. Hi, my name's uh, Ash Light, uh, Corporal in the Royal Marines. Sergeant Marty Aldrich. My name's uh, John Bailey, I'm a sergeant. I'm uh, Corporal uh, Justin Bagoy, Ratty. <laughs> Any course skills that I think will help me? Working as a team, taking instruction from people, you know, listening to um, what we've been taught and the techniques that have been shown, you know, take, being able to take that on board. I think you've got to be a good swimmer, obviously. I think you've got to be, uh, have a bit of balls about you, some of the jumps and uh, some of the, the sluice when you sort of going in and out of the flow there, that could be quite intimidating. You need to be fairly physically fit, never a problem obviously for the Marines. Um, but the most important thing is, a, is a, have a good attitude and a good frame of mind. You're going to be cold, you're going to be wet, you're going to be tired, um, you're going to be challenged and out of your comfort zone at various points along the way. So these guys really need to be looking out for each other, working well as a team. And again, the Royal Marines never have any trouble in that department. My first emotion this morning was apprehension, first of all, because I am done course steering before. Um, I was a bit apprehensive on what, what it entails and, uh, you know, what, what would be asked of us. As the day progressed, then, it was, a, it was you know, excitement and wanting, wanting to do it more, move on to bigger and better things. The reason why the Royal Marines use adventurous training is because it puts people in perceived danger. Everything's in place to make that environment as safe as possible, but that perceived danger makes these guys work under stress and cope with the fear and then they obviously take those experiences and use those better in the combat environment. Generally, the Marines take less motivation and work much better as a team and communicate really well with each other. And they're, they're a lot more fun as well, despite the fact they might be cold and wet and tired. They're always laughing and joking. The morale's always high. Um, so it makes our job a lot easier because obviously it's a lot more fun for us. Kitchen needs a big set of balls, helmet, buoyancy aid, wetsuit, pair of wetsuit boots and a sense of humour. If they're afraid of anything, or you know, if they're concerned about anything, you'll never notice, you'll never notice. Uh, they're really good at, at sucking it up and getting the job done. And they're really good at hiding their fears and especially good at hiding it from each other. The first jump we did, I looked at it and thought, hmm, this would be cheeky. Yeah, well, the goal was to have a laugh and to uh, make sure I did everything and not bottle out. That's the highest I've ever jumped off anything. Because I'm not the greatest lover of heights. I mean, I'm a climbing leader. But, you know, I don't, I'm not that fussed about jumping off things. But today, really, really enjoyed it. So. Uh, Hopefully I get to do a little bit more of that and go a little bit higher. I think our training made it very easy for us to achieve what we did today. They do some team building and a week's worth of adventurous training with us. Go on, go, go, go! But obviously because it's a, it's a mental and a physical challenge, it fits in perfectly with the training they're doing um, you know, back at Limston and elsewhere. So yeah, it works really well, it's real success. It's the first one I've done, Kirsty, and I've actually learnt, I've actually learnt something I've never done before, you know, so. I can take that away I mean, you know, maybe later date become a co-steering instructor or something like that. That just goes to help with what we do in everyday life. Depending on what your, your kind of interests are, there's many, uh, many different trades, different people go in completely different directions. You know, if you don't try it, you'll never know. You've got, to, you've, you've got to give it, you know, you've got to live your life, so go for it, because you'll only regret it when you get older. <laughs>